Good morning. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2016 to Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos for his resolute efforts to bring the country's more than 50-year-long civil war to an end, a war that had cost, has cost the life of at, lives of at least 220,000 Colombians and displaced close to 6 million people. The award should also be seen as a tribute to the Colombian people who, despite great hardships and abuses, have not given up hope of a just peace, and to all the parties who have contributed to this peace process. This tribute is paid not least to the representatives of the countless victims of the civil war. President Santos initiated the negotiations that culminated in the peace accord between the Colombian government and the FARC guerrillas. And he has consistently sought to move the peace process forward. Well knowing that the accord was controversial, he was instrumental in ensuring that Colombian voters were able to voice their opinion concerning the accord in a referendum. The outcome of the vote was not what President Santos wanted. A narrow majority of the over 13 million Colombians who cast their ballots said no to the accord. <clears throat> this result has created great uncertainty as to the future of Colombia. There is a real danger that the peace process will come to a halt and that civil war will flare up again. This makes it even more important that the parties headed by President Santos and FARC guerrilla leader Rodrigo Londoño continue to respect the ceasefire. The fact that the majority of the voters uh, said no to the peace accord does not necessarily mean that the peace process is dead. The referendum was not a vote for or against peace. The referendum was uh, the no side, what the no side rejected was not the desire for peace, but a specific peace agreement. The Norwegian Nobel Committee emphasizes the importance of the fact that President Santos is now inviting all parties to participate in a broad-based national dialogue aimed at advancing the peace process. Even those who opposed the peace accord have welcomed such a dialogue. The Nobel Committee hopes that all parties will take their share of responsibility and participate constructively in the upcoming peace talks. Striking a balance between the need for national reconciliation and ensuring justice for the victims will be a particularly difficult challenge. There are no simple answers as to how this should be accomplished. An important feature of the Colombian peace process so far has been the participation of representatives of the civil war victims. Witnessing the courage and will of the victims' representatives to testify about atrocities and to confront the perpetrators from every side of the conflict has made a profound impression. By awarding this year's Peace Prize to President Juan Manuel Santos, the Norwegian Nobel Committee wishes to encourage all those who are striving to achieve peace, reconciliation, and justice in Colombia. 
The President himself has made it clear that he will continue to work for peace right up until the very last day in office. The committee hopes that the Peace Prize will give him strength to succeed in this demanding task. Furthermore, it is the committee's hope that in the years to come, the Colombian people will reap the fruits of the ongoing peace and reconciliation process. Only then will the country be able to address effectively major challenges such as poverty, social injustice, and drug-related crime. The civil war in Colombia is one of the longest civil wars in modern times and the sole remaining armed conflict in the Americas. It is the Norwegian Nobel Committee's firm belief that President Santos, despite the majority vote in the referendum, has brought the bloody conflict significantly closer to a peaceful solution and that much of the groundwork has been led for both the verifiable disarmament of the FARC guerrillas and a historic process of national fraternity and reconciliation. His endeavors to promote peace thus fulfill the criteria and spirit of Alfred Nobel's will. Thank you. Madam Leader of the Committee, uh, would you say that this year's prize, first of all, encourages a process more than a, a result due to the fact, as you say, that the slim majority of Colombians, they voted no in the referendum. It is an acknowledgement of the very hard work and the very important initiative that President Santos has made. And it is, of course, and as we state in the announcement text, uh, a strong encouragement, we hope, for all parties in uh, these negotiating processes to do their utmost to reach a good result acceptable to the people. Why have you chosen not to divide uh, the price between uh, the parties of the peace process? There are many parties in this peace process, and the announcement text I just read to you uh, shows very clearly that the President Santos has been taking the very first and historic initiative. There has been other uh, tries to reach peace deals in Colombia, but this time he went, let me put it, all in and the government, he as the leader of the government, went all in with uh, a strong will to reach a result. And this is why we have put the emphasis on the president of Colombia, but remember, he is also the head of state of Colombia. Would it also be nearly impossible to give the award to a guerrilla movement? We never comment on those who do not receive the reward, we concentrate our comments on uh, the laureate of this year. Have any of you spoken to the president yet, and what was his reaction? No, we have not done that. In the modern world, it's a bit tricky to try to <laughs> give announcements in advance, but uh, we are trying to establish contact right now. Do you think he will be as surprised as the rest of us? We will see what will be the comments of the president. Do you think this prize will be disputed worldwide? Well, it's not unnormal for peace prizes, to, um, the Nobel Peace Prize, to be disputed. That is not our aim. Our aim is to honor the work that has been done, to honor also all the parties in the conflict, uh, and to uh, tell to the Colombian people that we encourage you to go on through all the parties who have participated in this process. You explicitly said it was an encouragement, but I wonder whether you fear it might act the other way for the parties who 
might feel like on the other side of the divide, they might have deserved it as well? I do not think so. There are strong reasons, as I say in the announcement text, to put uh, a light on the president himself, his role as president and as, in a way, the, the keeper of a process is very, very important, especially these days when there is a risk of uh, the process uh, stopping. There has been a referendum in Colombia and the people have said no to this particular peace treaty. Isn't it a little disrespectful of the democracy of Colombia that you now give the peace prize to the president? No, on the contrary, we clearly show that we, of course, respect a democratic process and the democratic vote of the Colombian people. But the people of Colombia did not say no to peace, as you stated yourself. They said no to this particular agreement. And uh, there is no a process of opening up a dialogue also with all the other parties in the Colombian society and uh, to try to move the process forward. This is extremely important to avoid that the civil war flares up again. Yes, this is a Norwegian news agency. Um, this year you had a record number of candidates. Uh, was it hard for the committee to reach this decision? Did you have a lot of controversy among yourselves? <laughs> it was not harder than it used to be. Uh, even though we had more candidates uh, this year, a lot of good candidates, but we never comment on the other candidates. Uh, we have a process that goes on every year in the same way. And we have very good discussions around the table in the committee room behind me. So uh, it has not been harder than a normal process, no. Uh, yes, I just have a question. I'm from Reuters. Uh, are you hoping that this prize will restart or save the peace process in Colombia? We hope it will encourage all good initiatives and all the parties who could make a difference in a peace process and give Colombia finally a peace after decades of war. Okay, and one more question. Did you um, consider including um, the FARC leader in, in the prize? We will never comment on other candidates and other possibilities. Our decision is the one you have in front of you in the announcement text. But we have followed, of course, the development in Colombia over a long time very, very closely. Thank you. Other questions? Okay. 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 It doesn't seem to be any more questions, so that is the end of the press conference. Thank you very much.